So we are going to start a new book called The Journey by Francesca Sanna. Um, this is the cover of the book. I'm going to show you um, an image and there are some questions which were on your uh, PowerPoint presentation. And I'd like you to think about the questions that I'm asking you when we look at this next picture. Um, and you can write your answers down in your workbook um, underneath each of the questions. And also, feel free to pause the video at any point if you're writing as we're going along. So if we have a look at this first picture, let's think about the first question. What do you notice? So what kind of things do you notice in this picture? Perhaps it might be the seagulls. Um, could be some of the shells, could be some of the shapes of the buildings, anything at all, what do you notice? Once you've done the what do you notice, what aspect of this illustration do you like? So what things do you like about it and why? So remember, we're always giving a reason for our answers. So you need to say which part you like and why do you like it. Next question is, what puzzles you? Are there any questions that you want to ask when looking at this picture? Then, looking at this picture, thinking about what questions you have, the things that you like, what connections now can you make? Does it remind you of any other stories uh, that you've read or stories that you've heard? Does it remind you of any films that you've watched? Um, what connections can you make? And lastly, before we move on to the next picture, the illustrator on this one has used certain amount of colors and shapes. What impact do you think that has on the reader? So think about colors, and what colors do when we're reading a story, and then think about the shapes too. What impacts are they having on you as the reader? All right, we're going to move on to the next slide. So this is a double page spread. This was the first half. And then if we look at this picture now, that is the other half of the whole spread of the book. Now we're going to think about some other questions. What effect, if we look at the size of the people in relation to the buildings, what effect does that have on the shapes and the, the size of the shapes? What is that telling you? Now, I think you probably have a better idea, maybe more of a clue. What, where is the scene set? So what is the setting of this book on these pages? Once you've thought about the setting, which I think is probably quite obvious, we can tell that they're on a beach somewhere. Why do you think that this beach is relevant? What has it got to do with the story? What has it got to do with the characters in the story? Why is the beach relevant? Now we're going to move on to looking at the characters. So if you look at each of those characters, it seems as if there's a family there. Let's look at each character. What are they doing? So firstly, what are each of them doing? Look at their body language. Look at their facial expressions. Are they smiling? Are they frowning? What is it that they are doing? And when we look at those pictures, what do you think that tells us about them? So for example, the mom has a book. So could that tell us that she enjoys reading? What is it telling us about the characters, the things that they're doing, the way that they are acting, as well as their body language and their facial expressions? And finally, our last question um, is, 
how is the shadow used? So as you can see on the right hand side, there is a large shadow. How has that been used and what does it suggest? So think about what the shadow is representing and the color that it is and what it might suggest. So you've had some time to think about those questions. You could always pause the video, go back over the questions on your PowerPoint, come back to this part of the video and write down all of those answers that you have for the questions that I've asked.